In this video, I wanna to talk to you about what type of business you should build. Now, you might be a brand new entrepreneur, you've never started business before and you're looking for fresh ideas, or maybe you have been in business for the last 10 years and you're just sick of your business and you wanna do something else. I personally am an entrepreneur. I've owned multiple businesses. I love innovating, I love creating new things, but monotonous tasks that are constantly repetitive, they get boring for me too and I don't like doing those. So it's up to you to decide on which business that you think will fulfill you the most. And I'm going to go ahead and dive in here and show you the requirements that you need in order to make sure that business can be built and then sold in the future as well. So the first question is, would you rather sell a product or a service? Would you rather dig for gold or sell the shovel? So that's the best way I like to say it. Would you like to be the type of person that sells their own product on their own website? Or would you like to be the type of person that helps people sell their own products on their own website? It's up to you. I personally am in the service-based business right now. Inventory.com is an inventory management software. We help business owners track all their inventory to make sure that they're profitable. I personally don't sell products anymore, but I sold products before had a lot of experience in the industry and built this software based on my experience. So I went from offering a product and selling a product to now selling a service and helping all the people out who are selling products. So it's up to you. I personally like to sell the shovel rather than digging for gold because there's so many people digging for gold and very few that sell the shovel. Now my industry is very complicated, it's tough, it's not easy to build software, so it's not for the faint of heart. I don't suggest everybody do it. Actually, I don't suggest anybody do it because it's barely even worth it until the end. It's never worth it all the way up. So in a product-based business, you can make money a lot quicker because it's just a buy and resell. Versus service-based, you usually have to get some serious traction before you become profitable. So let's go ahead and talk about the types of businesses, the requirements that you're going to need in order to make sure it's successful and it sells and it sells. First thing is cash flow. So the most important thing is your bottom line. That is your net profit, how much you take home at the end of the day. I've worked with a bunch of angel investors, hedge fund managers, VCs, everything you can think of. And the only thing they care about is profit, especially profit margin too. So for example, if you sell a business and you are doing a million dollars a year and you make two hundred thousand dollars in net profit that is great depending on your business model you can sell that business for anywhere between 200 and a million dollars and possibly even more so two hundred thousand dollars to a million dollars for a company uh, depending on how proprietary you are which is this next thing that i want to talk about here is proprietary so how proprietary is your business if you are selling products that are constantly resold, let's say for example, iPhones, there's nothing proprietary about that because anybody can sell iPhones. Now, if you're selling your own private label product on Amazon, that's that's more proprietary because you have your own trademark, you have brand registry, other people can't sell that product. But how proprietary is it? Can other people knock that off? Can other sellers compete against you? Now, to go to a next level to make it even more proprietary, you can have a custom custom built products or custom built services in this case inventory.com is a custom built inventory management software if you want to compete with us you must also reverse engineer us and every one of our competitors and figure out how to build your own system from scratch that makes us much more proprietary and harder to copy and the last one that really comes into play is patents now if you have a product or a service that has patents people legally cannot copy you and they must license your product in order to copy you or order to sell your same type of product. That is one of the best forms of proprietary, of being proprietary is patent. Other than that, I highly suggest anything in the software lines or anything that has to be custom built. If you have products that are custom built, those are definitely considered proprietary as well. So I highly suggest Get, make sure that cash flow is correct. Have something proprietary, unique, that nobody else has in their business and they can't take away from you. And the third I want to talk about is the longevity. Think about your business model. I, for example, sell inventory management software. Ask yourself, do you think inventory management will be a problem in 10 years? Uh, guaranteed. It's probably going to be a bigger problem because we're going to have more people and we're going to have more products and we're going to have more inventory. It constantly grows. Now, do you think like fulfillment, inventory fulfillment is going to be a problem in the future? Well, yeah, most definitely because customers want their products within two days and that doesn't matter where they are in the world. They want it within two days no matter what and if they don't get it, they want a refund. 
that's the way the world works. And so fulfillment inventory management is very, very important in the world. Now ask yourself, is the longevity of your business important? My last business sold allergy medication. Do you think allergies are going to go away? They're never going to go away. The odds are they're probably going to get worse. Now, think about this in the long run for your business as well. You might sell supplements. You might sell healthcare products. You might sell electronics. Any things that are changing and constantly innovating, you know, those are always usually going to stick around. But these other things that are just fads, you know, like the fidget spinners, those are a fad. They're, not, you know, nobody buys those, sell those anymore. Odds are they're not going to stay around. So focus on the longevity of your business and find a product that's going to last a long time that you can constantly sell. And more importantly, that you can sell over and over again to the same customers. Now, the last thing I want to talk about here is scalability. Scalability is the biggest and the most important one. And when it comes down to it, it comes down to how much can you pay to acquire a new customer? A lot of people will make a lot of effort and spend their time to go out and find a new customer. They don't really value their time at all. So one of the best strategies I use is paid advertising to scale. And right now in inventory, it can cost us up to $1,000 to acquire a new customer, but that customer will pay us $500 a month. And in turn, we can get our money back within two months. We can have a 2x ROI within four months, four to five months. That's a, that's a great business model. And we can have a three to four, maybe even 5x return on our ad spend in a year's time. Now, that is very scalable because I can now go out and I can afford to pay $1,000 for a customer and still five times my initial acquisition costs. Now, I still have other costs involved like development, you know, my team, my payroll, um, you know, any type of our CRM, uh, all those things matter still that you still have to account for. But the real question is, how far can I scale this? Well, if I can pay $1,000 to acquire a customer and they bring me $5,000 per year, I could probably pay $2,500 to a cup to acquire a customer to bring us $5,000 a year. I double my money every year. That's better than any stock market investment ever. So the scalability for me is huge because I have the ability to acquire customers over and over and over again. Now, depending on your business, the real question is, is how scalable is it? Do you sell a product that your customer only buys once? Because if they only buy it once, it's very difficult to scale unless you have a very expensive product with a lot of margins in it. But if they're a type of customer that they buy your product once and then they come back and buy it 10 or 20 more times over the next five years, well, the possibility of scaling is there, you know, as long as your acquisition cost is lower than the profit you're making on every single product. So it's up to you to decide your product. Think about it right now and be honest with yourself and look at your business and ask, is this scalable? Can I acquire more customers and still be profitable even if I have to pay more to acquire those customers? Because as you scale, everything always becomes more expensive, no matter what. Might be a few scenarios where you get a better deal and it's cheaper, but odds are the bigger the business, the more expensive it is to operate in every single way just because you have further operating procedures you have to follow in order to keep everything in line. So to bring this all together, remember these things. Cash flow, longevity, being proprietary and scalability. Those are the four things that truly matter when it comes to building your business. It's up to you if you want to sell a product or a service, if you want to dig for gold, or if you want to sell the shovel. Hope this video gave you guys some insight. I'll see you around. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Other than that, have a great day.